Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Fully Informed Trade or Fi Trade for short, knowledge for everyone. My name is Alex Cho and today I am going to go ahead and review uh, a tech stock that has that is doing awfully and I just want to go ahead and review it in detail. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and review this key stock. Alright, so pretty much this is a stock chart for research in motion. Ticker symbol is R-I-M-M. Basically, the stock gap is substantially lower after missing earnings expectations for quarter one, 2011. And uh, basically, I want to point out that we have probably uh, one of the worst performing tech stocks in 2011 on our hands. And I really don't like the 200-day moving average. And most people would consider the 200-day moving average as a great area of support. But I've seen the stock break the 200-day moving average many times before. And it just doesn't provide me with much confidence at all. Um, you know, every single time I see this company break the 200-day average, it's been a ridiculously, and I mean a ridiculously long time since the, since the stock, was, well, it would take a ridiculously long amount of time for the stock to recover. And uh, because of that, do I think Research in Motion may find support on this 200-day uh, moving average? Uh, I'm willing to bet that it could probably bounce off of it a little bit, but then it will eventually break it just as it just uh, just as it has in the past. Another thing that does make me nervous is the fact that we do have a head and shoulder pattern. Head and shoulder patterns are the bane and doom of any stock in the stock market. Once you have a head and shoulder pattern, and you break the neckline, it's pretty much game over, and uh, chances are investors will basically shun you. They won't buy the stock, and if anything, people will most likely short the stock and have a net short bias rather than a positive bias on the company. Therefore, my whole entire viewpoint with Research in Motion is that it has missed earnings, so the company itself isn't performing as well as it should. Uh, we have a head and shoulder pattern. It has already broken the neckline. The 200-day moving average hasn't shown itself to be a very reliable place to place any bets on Research in Motion and research in motion keeps getting slapped around as various platforms enter into the market that being the Android platform and its ability to use swipe that's something a Blackberry doesn't have along with that the Blackberry's operating system is losing steam versus the next the um, Android platform as well to the Apple platform so research in motion is in a really tough position right now either it joins the Android bandwagon and secures its own position among Samsung, HTC and the rest of the smartphone crew or they're, they're at the third leg in the race and I, you know what I'm not, I'm not too, I'm not too uh, keen on that I don't think it's very good and for the longer term I believe that research in motion will stand to lose more by developing their own software rather than letting Google do that for them and since the Google platform or the Android platform is free, I don't see why Research in Motion would put so much money into software to begin with. So overall, I think Research in Motion has, is doing some stupid stuff, uh, working with Microsoft and uh, creating its own operating system. And we have a head and shoulder pattern. The earnings are coming in, right? 200-day moving average doesn't look right. Overall, I think this is going to be my worst stock in the tech sector. My worst stock pick amongst tech stocks in 2011. Sure, there are probably worse ones out there, but for right now, I think this is going to be the worst tech stock of 2011. Anyway, that does it for me for today. If you guys want to use the same exact charting software that I use, please be sure to check out the link below this video. Uh, this charting software indicates a negative 100 reading, which means that it, we are in a serious downtrend over the longer term. And also, uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, uh, just leave them on the video. If you have the questions, I'll be sure and put out the time to try and answer them. And, uh, you know, just, just just subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're interested in this kind of stuff and you want to learn more about stocks in general. And that will be all for today, and I will have more for you guys in the coming weeks and months ahead. Take care.